new D5 Max from Aqua Computer. As you can see, it has this really nice elbow display, LEDs around here, but that's not what she came for. So, let's go into the menus real quick. I was already browsing around earlier just to see what it could do. So these are the main display pages here. You can cycle through these with the right button, left button to go back, middle button to confirm. So you got your pump, it shows your fan down here, your fan wattage. You got your pump RPM, fan RPM too here, and so on with the rest of these menus. Oh, yeah, you got your pump uh, power settings. You set the percentage you want your pump around. I have it at 50% right now. Get straight. Just push the middle button to go into the main menu. So you could go into pump and it lists all the modes. Power preset, time set point, curve controller, flow controller, and so on. Also, for your fans, it lists the same like modes for power reset, time set point, curve controller. So that's nice. You get your sensor. So this has a water temperature sensor, has a virtual flow rate sensor, which isn't as accurate as the mechanical one, but it does its job for basically the alarm setting function of this pump. So just in case the pump fails, it could shut down. Either because of water temp, you could set a temp limit for it to shut down or lack of flow rate so it could shut down. So that's a pretty cool feature. Save your pump. You have your display settings here. So you can set up what display pages you want, pump fan, water temp, device info, pump fan speed, etc. Your various charts. You got your interval you want the display pages to change. Also, your last thing here, you got your system. So you can set up aqua device devices. So this pump could be connected straight to Aquero if you want to. You could power maximum of two of these. From Aquero, I guess because of a bus ID or whatever, you can only handle two of these. So that's pretty sweet. That's probably the only one. Two pumps in a loop that'd be overkill having more than that but it depends I've seen some things anyways so this product's mainly for someone who just wants that extra I guess final percentage of control over your water cooling loop because all Aqua computers products are really pretty well made I believe so because I have a lot of her stuff actually these are GPU blocks, the Quero, which is like undisputed king of a water cooling fan controller, fans, pumps, very sweet sensors, and the software is pretty decent too, so I would invest in this ecosystem if you're a high-end enthusiast and you like the most control, so it's pretty nice. I should mention that you get the connector at the bottom here for powering fans. It's a 25 watt header at the bottom for controlling PWM fans. You have to get a splitter, of course, for that. You also get the RGBPX port down here. You could power up to and control up to 64 individual LEDs, which is pretty sweet if you into the RGB craze and whatnot. So that's pretty nice. So all in all, it's a nice, well-made product. Also, I should mention it has a modular design, so it's really nice. It's powered by SATA at the bottom, and the SATA connectors fold nicely, you know. Sleeve it, your own sleeving. You don't have to solder into pump to make your own, like, custom wiring lengths and whatnot. You could just straight out do it without soldering, which is pretty sweet. What else? And I should mention about the weight for this product. So, I guess... This is kind of back ordered sometimes. A lot of Aqua Computers products are back ordered actually. Majority of the time, since they do majority of their production in house, only some parts are outsourced maybe. Anodizing and stuff. It depends. So, this is a pretty nice product overall. I'd get this if you really just want that last percent of.
control over your water cooling loop. So it's nice. I'd recommend it. Peace. <laughs>